your friendly local blog that takes a look at a handful of amazing events and places for you to check out each month. What's happening in Hendrix? Hey everybody, this is Pete from Ash Interactive, and today I'm joined by Julia from Exploring Hendrix County and Josh from Visit Hendrix County. Today, we are jumping into April because like spring is here, you know, and the big thing I think of when I think of April and spring is Easter, which then down the thought chain lands at egg hunts. Family favorite, right, Josh? Absolutely, yes. So uh, at visithendrickscounty.com, we have a blog, and so we always do an Easter roundup of mm. the events. And so I was looking at it and picked out a couple of really cool events that I thought uh, people might not know about. So there's actually a first time uh, egg and keg beer event That's great. for adults only, 21 plus, <laughs> at uh, Murphy Aquatic Park in okay. Avon. And so they're going to have 15 breweries out there and they are going to be uh, just kind of celebrating uh, the Easter season. Uh, it's on April the 8th, the day before Easter from mm. 1 to 5. And so uh, just go out there. They're going to have, you can drink. They're actually going to have an adult Easter egg hunt out there as well. That and would so, be great to watch fun. after so, all the kegs. Go find some eggs, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so you need to definitely check that one out. And then the other one that I wanted to point out, and like I said, there's 8 to 10 on our, on our site that you guys need to check out. But is at Well Community Church in Brownsburg, mm. uh, also on April the 8th. And they do a bunch of um, uh, different egg hunts each hour for different uh, children with disabilities. So they kind of have a sensory egg hunt. They have one for really cool. kids that are in wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. um, they have one where uh, it might be someone who has some kind of a um, some kind of a developmental delay, and mm -hmm. they might have a sibling that goes along with them and help mm -hmm. them with the hunting the eggs so that's just awesome that, that was really cool and then, of course there's all the others that uh, the traditional ones that people know about and go to that we also have on that on that blog post yeah i know that the one at the well specifically we worked with jana and ryan morrison over there at the well for quite a few years and it's really the only one that is intentionally designed to be totally accessible and that is not only accessible for the the people in the family that have a disability, but there's also opportunities for the kids that are, you know, more traditionally abled, if you want to put it that well, way. Well, and I didn't so even think great. about the one for kids like are in wheelchairs. The, the eggs are magnetic, so they can take a pole. Yeah, wow. it's brilliant. Get, get, get the really eggs, cool. so it's just, yeah, yeah, really neat that they thought of that and, and have that accessible for everyone. Definitely, and neat. reach out to them directly. I know Jan is always happy to talk about it and, um, you know, just kind of include everybody, so. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, we have eggs, we have Easter, we have kegs, but we also have flowers. We're thinking about like Earth Day, Arbor Day happens in April, right? Right, um, so April 22nd is Earth Day. Mm. And I know that some of the parks around the area will do different events. And um, so one that I looked into for our family, we have three young kids, um, so there's not much that young kids can do to help out, but this one is in Brownsburg, it's at Williams Park. Mm. And you have to register online, but um, you show up on the 22nd and you're gonna clean the park which is for us, it's an easy way to um, teach our kids how to appreciate the earth and how to help out. Mm. So we're gonna try to do that. Did you have any others, Josh, you were thinking of? I know we were talking about um, that in the past, some places have given away actual yeah, for, trees, right? Yeah, but yeah. So, we, so for, for Arbor Day, um, Avon uh, is a tree city USA. And so they, every year, are very big when it comes to Arbor Day. And so they have a spring tree sale that is going on now through April the 19th. So you need to order your tree and pick it up by then. And they also have an event at 10 a.m. on April 25th at River Birch Elementary where the, they'll be planting a tree and celebrating Arbor Day as, as a Tree City USA. That's cool. So, I know that uh, we've been collecting those long extended squeezy claw like trash rubber. litter picker yeah. uppers. That's yeah. probably the technical mm -hmm. term when you think. Uh, we've been getting some of those for our church because they do a big cleanup day as well. And nothing gets kids to clean up. So fun, so fun. Yeah, unless you go to the Children's Museum and buy the one where the head looks like a T-Rex <laughs> or something, then that might work even yeah, better, true. but you never know. I was just driving into work yesterday, in fact, and I saw trash bags along the sides of the roads and I saw people, and I'm sure they were just volunteering, picking up trash, mm. um, cleaning up the, the roads. I mean, anything you can do for yeah. the earth is, is good. It's so, helpful, 100%. Yeah. 
So the other thing, of course, that we're getting into as things are warming up, you're going to hear those engines, right? I know we live in Brownsburg and we can hear the track all the time. So we're going to start hearing those things firing up. Absolutely. Josh, who's your 100? That's coming up in April. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, people might not be aware that there's actually going to be a race event coming up as soon as April the 23rd, because mm -hmm. uh, people think of the month of May. But uh, but yeah, the, uh, out at uh, Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park, they're going to get started on their oval on April 23rd with the Hoosier 100. Uh, it's a uh, first time back in our girl event, uh, but it's a, it's a historic event. It's actually the 70th anniversary of the event. Wow. And um, so they have a big prize purse for the drivers, so they're expecting a lot of big drivers to come out. It's a kind of grassroots open wheel racing. It's going to be the USAC Silver Crown Series for those who are into racing. Um, and uh, you can buy your tickets now and, and come on out to the Oval and, and get some early racing in before the month, month of May even hits. Awesome. Well, I'm also wondering as a segue how many mothers will be at that event because even though it's not Mother's Day yet, it's never too early to start planning. Preparing, what are we going to do for mom to show her how much we love her and all that good stuff? And we have a representative mother right here next right. to us. So, <laughs> Julia. What are some of the things going on that tie into Mother's Day or at least pre-planning into Mother's Day? Right, so Mother's Day is in the month of May, which has a lot of racing for sure, um, which, <laughs> you know, we uh, can enjoy that as well. But um, this is only my sixth year being a mom. So um, in my experience, I like, you know, going out to dinner or lunch or brunch, which is nice. Um, there's a new place in Clayton that I would like to check out at some point in the spring called Miss B's Teas. Right, it's a tongue twister. It is a tongue twister. <laughs> it is. Miss Beast Tees. Miss Beast Tees. And Clayton, I've only been there like once or twice. Um, it's a little bit further south and west, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's yep. a cute little little town, and um, that would be a fun place to check out. Um, Boulder Creek is an easy one for us um, because it's just a nice, delicious food, as well as um, they they do a good job at, like catering to kids too. Like mm -hmm. our kids are um pretty good there too which is yeah. helpful yeah. yeah oh yeah yeah not like a kid restaurant but they have um you know good food good food that kids enjoy mm. um and like little trinkets that they can play with which is nice always got to yeah. keep those hands and minds yes. occupied right yes, for sure well, well, and, and, and i'm not a mom obviously but but my wife is and <laughs> so we don't celebrate as a family birthdays very much with each other, Christmas, that kind of thing. But Mother's Day is important to her. I mean, that is the one day where she expects something. And so one of the things that I've done with my son in the past that uh, is just a good idea, I think, for, for dads out there to do something for their wives or their moms is uh, I took him to UP Pottery Studio in Plainfield. Mm. And we uh, took a plate, and this is back when he was six, seven, eight years old, and he did a handprint and a footprint on the plate, and she cherishes that. It's in the china cabinet. And so you do something like that, you can go to the tie-dye lab and maybe make a shirt for mom, or maybe yeah. even just go out as a family and do that as a family together. Uh, and I was gonna add with Miss Beast Tees and Clayton that uh, Clayton is just kind of an up and coming town right now. They got a lot of places that are opening up there. Mm -hmm. So you could take a day probably and spend mm -hmm. at Clayton at Copper Top Customs, which is an antique and, and resale store. Uh, that Clayton Cafe just reopened, Miss Beast Tees, there's Jim Thin, so there's quite yeah. a few things that people probably don't know about in Clayton. You can spend a half a day in Clayton just yeah, checking sure. things out, kind of strolling around yeah. or cruising That's around. Uh, my wife is a big gardener. She's been through mm -hmm. the Master Gardener program at the fairgrounds and everything, and so we're always thinking flowers and things to kind of spruce that up. Garden Gate? Josh, yep. what do you know about that? Well, <laughs> Garden, Gate, Garden Gate flowers gift and flower shops in North Salem. Uh, a lot of people probably don't even know North Salem mm. exists, maybe in the county, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but the, uh, there's a couple guys up there that run it. Uh, it's a great place. They have a lot of handmade things in there. Uh, it's a flower shop where you obviously can order flowers from them as well. Uh, I'm sure that they probably deliver those as well. But uh, it's a neat place just to kind of go there and just kind of walk through and, and find things, uh, gifts for mom, gifts for your wife, whomever. Cool. Know. I know Avon is having an, um, a native plant sale on oh. um, Mother's Day weekend, Ooh. May 12th and 13th. And that's um, the Master Gardener's going to be there too. It's oh, perfect. Which is great. And that's great yeah. advocacy too. I mean, that ties into almost the Arbor Day and the Earth Day as well yeah. because native plants are so important. And for so long, people didn't necessarily realize that. So there's a lot of invasive species in Indiana that are not great for us. Uh, but this is a way to start getting those things transitioned over to a more native plant sort of gardening. So mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. The other thing that we wanted to touch on in April, which is close to my heart, is art, right? There's a big art market coming up, uh, it sounds like. Yeah, the first the first one, it's called the Spring Artisan Market, and it's in Liston, um, which is in the west 
kind of side of Hendricks County. Right off I-74. And, yeah, right off, right off I-74. It's actually beautiful. It's, a, mm. it's an old barn called Kennedy Estates, and they've done a great job um, turning it into like a wedding venue. But she does like birthday parties and things there too. You can rent it out. But they're going to have um, an artisan market there, and she'll have um, food trucks or food vendors as well. Mm. And it sounds like it'll be a great thing. It's Friday night and Saturday, so the 7th and 8th of April. Cool. Yeah. So lots to explore there. And, sure. and again, the, I've not been to an art festival or art market or art fair where I couldn't be there half a day at least. Oh, yeah. You know, get there early, see all the art, get some lunch, talk to the artists. I mean, like, it's always a good day. And we just know the weather's going to be beautiful. Yes. <laughs> early April. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right, friends, that's our recap for April. We handed you a curated list of awesome things to do around the county in the month of April, but there's so much more going on. We just don't have the time to cover it all. So make sure that you check out Visit Hendricks County's website at visithendrickscounty.com and make sure you uh, follow and check in with Julia's Instagram account at Exploring Hendricks County. <laughs> all right, friends, so that's what's happening in Hendricks in April. We'll see you in May. Have an outstanding day. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.